Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. This is a pick a card reading, so I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down. Prepare yourselves to pick one, two, or motherfucking three, baby. Here we go. Okay, so... For the next week or so, we're going to figure out what you need to do in your money manifestations and what it's looking like, okay? The first card, we're going to find out what's going on in your money situations, what we need to fix, okay? Things of that nature. So make sure that you pick either one, two, or three, okay? So we're going to save these cards for the gods. Here we go. Yes, honey, yes. Sage the cards for the gods. So, if you picked one, let's see what's going on with your money manifestations, baby. Here we go. Card number one is the Page of Cups. All right, now. So, some of you all do have good news coming in your money manifestations. It could be something that you're mothering. It could be some... Um, some mail that you might be receiving in your money. If you pick card number one, it definitely could be something from someone that has you in some nostalgia here, okay? Now, for some of you guys, it could be that you're taking on these motherly roles or you could be a mother of some sort. But you definitely could be mess uh, waiting on a message with this bird right here for some of you guys. But in your money manifestation, some of you all might be thinking about uh, colors and things of that nature that you could be fixing around you. Some of you all could be artists, okay? Some of you all are just enjoying what's in nature right now. Some of you all could be just those people that are taking in consideration everything that's surrounded by you, okay? That's what she basically looks like. So for some of you guys, I feel like there is a letter or a news of some sort that it will be coming in, okay? It could be some good news, a romantic letter, a romantic offer, whatever the case may be. This is definitely some good news if you are trying to manifest, okay? So news coming in, good news that could be coming in. For some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with flowers or you're dealing with just herbal essence, things of that nature. Uh, but if you see, she's holding the essence in our hands. So a lot of you guys have, um, have a lot of letters, new beginnings coming in. Could be an offer of some sort that you're waiting on in the mail. Okay, let's see what's under this other card. All right, Knight of Pentacle energy here. So it could be getting to you. It could be coming to you um, by travel. Okay, you could be waiting for somebody to do some practical matters. You could be traveling. You, there could be some travel uh, or distance. Or some of you all could be taking airplanes, trips, things of that nature for some of you all to make your money. It could be that you need to go across country or someone has to travel out because the Knight of Pentacles is a traveling card. So for some of you all, it could be that this message that you might be waiting for is traveling to you with this Knight of Pentacles. Some of you all could be truck drivers. You could be farmers, things of that nature. Some of you all are really thinking about what's going to make this money manifestation work for you. Okay, especially if things are at a distance, if you're having to travel back and forth. Definitely could be some international type of things going on here with this Knight of Pentacles. Someone's crossing over land, all right? But I feel with this Pentacle in his hand, there is an offer for some of you guys. Everyone has things in their hand, so it could be that you're working for um, new beginnings, new offers. Okay, with this pencil, Pentacles, it could be money that you're waiting on, all right? Um, but I feel like <clears throat> there could be a third party situation that you need to either merge together or send out some news or information to make this money manifestation really fucking work. You could be setting some plans, some analyzations, um, being able to um, watch your kingdom. OK, surveillance is what I'm seeing here for some of you guys. You could be 
uh, security guards. Some of you guys could be just leaving some things behind, leaving some passions behind with these wands here. But definitely with a lot of birds and a lot of animals, some of you all could be dealing with animals, but with these birds, it is a major message that you guys will be receiving, okay? In this next week or so, there's going to be someone who's trying to message out a third party situation, or there could be a connection that you need to bring together that you're planning uh, in some sort of route here, okay? So definitely some money <clears throat> for some of you guys. Six of Wands energy here as well. So it's going to be successful if you pick card number one. Could be somebody who's in the public eye, celebrate celebrations, okay, a victory of some sort. People that are watching you, admiring you. A lot of you guys have new beginnings coming in with merging these people together, merging these ideas together. Could be traveling, slow travel as well, or just making sure that you know you've got your accolades in order, okay, for what you've been deserving of, what you've been needing. That's definitely what I'm seeing here for some of you guys, okay? Now, I really feel like uh, a lot of this energy could be somebody who's waiting on a victory, okay? Coming in, waiting on a victory, knowing that you have people that are admiring you, watching you, okay, in the background. Some of you all could be very much so leaders. Could be, connect, you know, connections and resources and things of that nature with the Six of Wands energy here. So some of you guys have gathered all of your resources. You could have came from war. You could have been battling uh, a lot of things here and you're getting your victory that served to you. Some of you guys could be dealing with a lot of jealous people as well or people that are watching you, but they're not really uncovering um, that they're watching you or they're watching you either to copy after you, copy and paste up in this motherfucking bitch. Or somebody could be trying to exude um, or really wanting your life with the Six of Wands energy. I'm going to be fucking real. Um, but some of you guys have new beginnings coming in. Whatever is well deserving of to you is coming in, okay? So let's see um, possible outcomes for a lot of you guys. You have definitely with these sevens here, a lot of things to choose from, okay? A lot of things that you could be dreaming about. Um, some of you guys are definitely uh, thinking about the money, okay? You're thinking about what could come in, um, what could really set some things out here on fire with this dragon, all right? Also, uh, you know, some things in the past or some demons in the past that you could be scared of or you could be needing to confront, okay? But a lot of you guys have thoughts that are all in your mind and you're ready for some sort of relief. I'm seeing a lot of birds here, okay? So definitely messengers, birds are messages, are messengers. Um, I feel like she's releasing some things with the seven of pentacles. Definitely um, able to be in her independence. She could be having, this could be her house, okay? Somebody working for her. Some of you guys might need assistance. Some of you guys might need to have some maintenance done. But I'm definitely seeing that you're, you're uh, analyzing what you need to do here, okay? So for some of you guys... I'm really feeling like there's a lot of confidence with these sevens, okay? Could be dealing with uh, that Leo energy, really setting some soft control and confidence here in your dreams and in your goals. Also setting those messages off and getting this shit set in stone, um, you know, and making things really work and make it really pop with the people that you're trying to communicate with is what I'm seeing here. Not being too clouded on what's going on, making sure that there's clear communication that you're shooting out these messages, okay? Now, uh, for some of you guys, I'm feeling like there's a lot of new beginnings coming to you in your dreams and in your illusions. You need to write that shit down, baby. But definitely some success coming in for you guys in your money manifestations. But make sure that you have clear and concise communication. Okay? So, let's see what's going on in pile number two. Here we go. Let's see what's going on, baby. First card off top is the devil, darling. So some of you all are being a slave to this, okay? It could be partnerships, just ties and connections that you have. A lot of heated things. Um, but really, I feel like with the devil energy, as far as money, motivations, you guys are definitely, uh, I don't want to say being a slave to it, but you are um, obsessing in what you need to fix and what you need to control here. Okay, it could be that there is a new beginning or there could be a lot of toxic people that are in your overall environment that's stopping you from your greatness. Okay, it could be a possible Capricorn energy that you're dealing with as well. But I feel with this devil energy here, somebody got a lot of um, 
toxic behavior that they know they need to get rid of. Could be sex, drugs, or rock and roll. Some of you guys could be spending your money too much on shit that is uh, very toxic on other people too, on soul ties, ties that you feel you can't let go of, okay? So for some of you guys, it's time to let some shit go with this devil energy here. You might be also doing too much or trying to put in too much work, and it's just time to take a break from that shit with that devil energy here. If you pick card number two, okay? Now, a lot of you guys could be dealing with... Um, some new doors that are opening for you, but someone is holding you back. Okay, the devil could be holding you back for some of you guys. Okay, could be some sexual energy here. Some of y'all might be into, you know, things that are a little occult with the devil energy, but it could be, you know, different uh, jobs, different ways that you make money. Could be underground type of shit with this devil energy here. But I'm seeing a lot of toxic energy that you're having to release to start some new abundance. Okay. So, let's see what's going on underneath here after this devil, baby. <laughs> Ten of Cups, okay. So, I feel like you're really trying to get that shit together with your family, your happiness, making everything come together, making everything work, okay. When I used to pull for the Ten of Cups, uh, when I would think of what I'm trying to do for my family, I would try to figure out what could be organized for me in my family, what could work for me, my timing, my kids, everything that's going on all together for your emotional stability, emotional happiness, okay? Some of you all could be uh, needing to take a trip with your family, go camping somewhere, really get a break from this toxic energy that you're dealing with. But I feel in your money manifestations, you're really concentrating on um, the new beginnings in your family, the multiple people, the generations, um, things of that nature. I feel like there is some fire that you need to set some goals, some realistic terms and goals with your family. Okay. It could be an up and coming trip that you guys might have, but there's definitely a money manifestation that's dealing with being underneath the stars and setting things under fire for your family. Okay. In order to have that fulfillment, that happiness, things of that nature. This motherfucker got a, a, a plane back here. Okay. So some of y'all might be wanting to take trips and things like that with your family. You could be trying to save up for that. It could be time to really put back some savings for futuristic things in your legacy. Okay. For your happiness. That's what I'm seeing here. And letting go of being a workaholic or being um, too obsessed in the toxic behavior that's around you or in your environment. Okay. King of Cups. So for some of you guys, it could be that your emotional, your emotional standpoint could be getting in the way of starting something new or your money manifestation. Some of you all could be drinking too much. You could be too, um, you're not really displaying too many emotions with this King of Cups, trying to just hold on to the harmony and hold on to the peace when really it's time to just let go and keep this idea and this plan and motion that you have here that's in your hand, okay? I feel for some of you guys, you might be emptying out some ideas and trying to think about some other ones, um, especially with the King of Cups. Um, is saying that your emotions might be scorned or uh, elsewhere and you might want to start something new or you're ready to start and pour out something new is what I'm seeing here, okay? Some of you guys are really holding your emotions to a high regard as far as what's getting in the way of your money, okay? So some of you guys might be having some, trying to have some calm temperaments and shit, but really you need to make some action. Okay, or be more practical with this King of Cup energy here. So let's see what's under here. Oh shit! All right, this is that double energy. Some of you are having to combat a lot of um, toxic behavior, people that are in your direction that are stopping you. Okay, people in your environment. Some of you all need to change your environment because it's kind of like you're having to combat, throw off these people that are in your direction and in your path. Okay. Now, some of you all could be dealing with a lot of people that have say-so, petty disagreements, arguments, things of that nature that's stopping you, paperwork being processed, that's taking too long, okay, shit like that. It could be in your work environment or in your office, you're ready to take a new stance because it's so much uh, like old bullshit and old news that you don't even want to deal with, okay? So a lot of you guys have things that are stopping you in the way uh, towards your growth because you're having to use all of this energy on these people. Very, a lot of very toxic energy, a lot of hatred coming off of this shit, jealousy, he say, she say, bullshit, 
okay, that's stopping you from obtaining new beginnings, okay, so get up out of this motherfucking environment that's nasty, that's people pulling you out of a direction that you can't even change, that you can't even change these people's behaviors, okay, so we also have eight of wands, ooh, so there's some communication um, some of you all need to be choosing from, you got a plethora amount of choices up in this bitch, she got white keys, yellow keys, green keys, different keys, okay, she got a friend to choose and help with her, okay, so somebody could be guiding you or aiding you to make a connection, to start a new beginning, okay, to pick a new door to choose from, especially leaving away from this environment that was no longer any good, okay, but I feel like there's some communication that some of you all need to get out there, some of you all might need to start some communication, you might could be in communications already, but there is some new opportunity that's coming with this, uh, well, usually with the eight of wands, it's coming in pretty swift, so she's got to hurry up and make a fucking choice, all right, so some of you all might be feeling like you need to hurry up and make some choices here. There's a lot of things that you're having to combat along the way, but I do feel it's good to have this card because you know that you're going to stay on top of your connections and you're going to stay on top of your communication. You're going back and forth with people with your communication, emails, things of that nature, variety is what I'm seeing here. So keeping your options open, having variety as well, all right? And also with the world energy here, you could be needing to travel, start something new, okay? Have a rebirth, and be fresh up in this bitch. This is a fresh ass baby. You got the blood coming about the motherfucker, the pussy, the womb, and everything is coming out, okay? Uh, but this is definitely a new beginning because that's what the world is all about, is starting a new beginning, seeing how it can flourish, how it can take off from there. Some of you all might be starting new businesses, or there could be a business that you're wanting to entertain and put into good use, but you have a lot of things that you're having to combat off in your world. Um, but you really need to start fresh, okay? Start that baby fresh. Treat it like a baby, okay? And then watch that motherfucker grow. That's what I'm seeing here with this world energy, getting that new energy, okay? Uh, someone that's kind of comfortable, but she's still sitting in this position of needing to be able to uh, push the motherfucker out anyway, okay? So it might be uncomfortable to change up your world or to get some new energy in here, but that's what you're definitely needing for your money motivation, okay, up in this bitch, so let's see what's going on with this pile, if you picked card number three, let's see what's up, first card off top is the two of wands, so making a decision, okay, and this card, these two people are fighting here, so a lot of people would see this card as having a meeting of the minds, all right, and or trying to figure out where you guys are going to split it down the middle, how this situation is going to work. Um, are you in a split decision? Are you needing to make a final decision between these two worlds, between these two energies that you have here? But it's saying either you're going to have to split it down the middle or it's not going to be even. So if you have been trying to uh, manifest some money here, you're going to have to make a decision um, for an equal balance, okay? Definitely making... Um, a resolution here. That's what I get when I get the two of swords. Um, and also being stuck in two minds or also, you know, feeling guarded towards having to make new ideas, new beginnings. Okay. Somebody's feeling frustrated here. So for some of you guys, your money manifestations might be just out of pure frustration and you having to make a split decision or make a final decision. Otherwise, it's not going to be um, what you set it out to be. So I do feel uh, a lot of you guys are having to make some decision here. OK, with either um, a partner or a person or being in your mind with two different energies as well that you're having to combat. So I feel um, for a lot of you guys, you're definitely thinking of what's going to make this situation fair. OK, whose stance is at what you're definitely watching other people and if they are coming in to destroy what's going on or are they coming in to prepare and to help? OK, so. Four of Wands, wow. Definitely starting a new foundation. Some of you all could have gotten married or there could be a, a union ship or just getting out in the community um, with making this decision here for some of you guys. But I'm seeing there could be a household or something that you're getting ready to start new from the foundation up. You got these 11-11s up in this bitch. For some of you guys, um, you're starting these new foundations, these new structural foundations. You could be making things your home or it also could be that you're trying to uh, get this castle, okay, in the background, this marriage, all of this shit taken off. Some of you all are really contemplating the future 
okay? Um, but it also could be that you're setting your foundation right now um, and you're kind of in your head on uh, two different things or going in between two different ideas. For some of you guys, I'm getting twos here, okay? So, um, I mean, shit, I see these numbers all the time. You might see these numbers all the time, 222, 1111. For some of you guys, when you get those messages, that is a spiritual number that you might see, okay? It might be that in that moment, you need to take some time in the heat of the motherfucking moment and understand what that spiritual message is, especially if you see these numbers coming into a new foundation or the answers to what you need, okay? So definitely a new beginning here. This is really, really good. Even though you could be in a split mind or split decision, there is a coming together to make it stable anyway right? So yeah, look at the two of swords again. So damn, this is fucking telling. All right. But with the two of swords energy here, you already know you got a decision to make. It could be between two people, two environments. It could be hot. It could be cold. All right. But there's um, some sort of illusion here with this moon energy that you might be dealing with, or it's saying intellectually with these swords and with the moon that there could be some things that you feel it needs to come into fruition first, or there could be some cycles that need to happen first. And then you'll be able to make these uh, minds come together and come to a final decision with that two of swords. I think that's really ironic. All right. Some of you all could really be um, standing up against um, a lot of decisions um, with your back against the wall or feeling blinded towards your new beginning, but I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, you, you, you know, what you need to put, what work you need to put into it. Okay. Or, you know, the oppositional feeling that you have of both of these sides that you need to either mush together, bring in to make a gray area, not just keep it just black and white. All right. But you need to come to some sort of final conclusion here with both of those two of swords, queen of swords energy here. So, um, if you pick card number two, there's definitely some of somebody that needs the truth could be a thinker here. could be some thoughts and ideas that come to you that make you um, have things come into fruition. You need to write that shit down. The Queen of Swords is a writer. She is um, she is the, the bitch that does the music, okay? So you could be a musician. You also could be somebody who's an authoritative position seeking the truth, a truth seeker. That's definitely the Queen of Swords, okay? She's a chitter-chatter motherfucking chitty-chat box up in this bitch. This is me, okay, with the Queen of Swords. So I already know, you know, this is a motherfucker who talks too much, but she give out a lot of information. So you could be needing a lot of information, a lot of resources, things of that nature for your money manifestations. But I feel with the Queen of Swords energy, she's going to tell you like it is. Either it is or it ain't. Okay. So that's what this making of the minds is, the meaning of the minds and building your foundation and your money manifestation. So you need to get to it because the Queen of Swords ain't going to take that shit. She could be delicate, but she also got her sword out, all right? There are golden messages again. So you might be receiving a message or a thought or an idea that comes to you that you need to write down that is very lucky, okay? Some of y'all could be about uh, romance and feet, something like that. Or for some of you guys, it really just could be some intellectual ideas that come to you through the crown, okay? A lot of uh, things in, the shock, in your crown chakra that you could be dealing with. Also with these angels, something from your guides, okay, that are by your side or something that's next to you might be here for your money manifestations, all right? Okay, three of pentacles, uh-oh. So definitely some sort of buildup or you could be having a commitment here with this three of pentacle energy. Um, it could be that you're needing to talk to multiple people or there could be some an audience that you need to talk to. Someone that's definitely pinpointing and analyzing and carving and constructing things uh, for the best of their manner. But I feel there could be some help or there might be outside parties that you could be uh, getting some insight on, okay? For some of you all, you could be thinking about time. This looks like a clock. He looks like he's getting ready to build um, a door or he's carving things. Some of you all could be carvers, okay? But definitely using your mind and your abilities to make things come together, okay? So for some of you all, you're putting in a lot of work with this three of pentacle energy here. I feel like you're really concentrating on your practical matters, on day-to-day -day things that make these big uh, outcomes, okay? Putting those puzzle pieces together, putting the whole big entire picture together is what I'm seeing here. So some of you all might need to put the big puzzle together, even though you've done things day-to-day -day in your practical matters with this three of pentacle energy here. 
Um, also, could be some spying. Damn, y'all. Page of Swords energy here. Could be needing either some more information. All right. Or uh, somebody is watching someone else. This looks like someone older. This looks like someone who's trying to like hide out from this older person. But I feel a lot of you guys um, need some research or need to do some sort of spying to figure out a new pattern or a new beginning. Some of you guys could just be getting this with a thought or an idea, a really impulsive idea with this Knight of Sword energy or an impulsive thought. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be um, something negative, but it could be something that you need to look out for, for anything um, that could be blindsiding you. Okay. Several different things here. You could look at it multi, 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 multi multi ways okay someone could be trying to figure out what someone else is doing um to get a better idea or you could be uh just watching profiling people to see what you need to do better is what i'm seeing here very interesting with this page of swords but definitely making an idea okay or um some of y'all could be needing to put forth some emails um watching people online um, watching people at their house, <laughs> whatever it is that they're doing, it could be that you're learning that as well too with this Knight of Swords, learning um, trades and things of that nature, or using your intellect, being very quick witted, okay, but try not to get caught, all right, all right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much to everyone who's tuned in. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. I'm gonna move the camera up. Make sure that you hit that description box down below. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video, baby. Peace.